At least 40 killed in Myanmar military air attacks, witnesses and news reports say air raids by fighter aircraft and attack helicopters hit the Sogang area, which is known for its opposition to military rule. Myanmar's military has launched air attacks on a central town known to be a bastion of opposition to the coup carried out two years ago. Witnesses and local media said dozens of people were killed and wounded in the attack on Tuesday, one of the worst since the military seized control. Of the country, citing residents in the Sogang area, about 110 kilometers 45 miles west of the main city Yangon, news reports said at least 50 people, including children, died in the barrage on the town of Paziji. The air raids occurred as residents gathered for the inauguration of an administrative office, Al Jazeera's Tony Ching reported from Thailand's capital Bangkok, at 7.35 am the crowd was attacked by jets and those were followed by Mi-35 helicopters, said Cheng, citing one rescuer at the scene, he confirmed 40 dead but he suspects the death toll will rise considerably, the carnage there was terrible. All the reports we're seeing is that these were civilians, and far from being a legitimate military target. No immediate response from Myanmar's military rulers was available, three first responders were killed in a second attack while rescue work was being carried out, Ching reported. Myanmar's armed forces have been accused of indiscriminate killings of civilians as it engages in major offensives to suppress armed resistance to its takeover. Last month, Myanmar's coup leader Min Aung Hlaing pledged to deal decisively with terrorists fighting against his rule, a member of the local People's Defense Force, PDF, an anti-junta militia, told Reuters news agency fighter jets fired on a ceremony held to open their local office, so far the exact number of casualties is still unknown. We cannot retrieve all the bodies yet, said the PDF member, who declined to be identified, Myanmar's pro-democracy government in exile, the National Unity Government, condemned the attack, calling it yet another example of, the military's, indiscriminate use of extreme force against civilians. Tuesday's incident could be one of the deadliest among a string of airstrikes since a jet attacked a concert in October killing at least 50 civilians. Local singers, and members of an armed ethnic minority group in Kachin State, on February 1, 2021, the military toppled the elected government of Aung San Suu Kyi, prompting peaceful protests that security forces suppressed with violence that escalated since then and has been characterized by United Nations experts and others as a civil war. More than one million people have been displaced as the military steps up artillery attacks and air raids, Western countries have rolled out sanctions. Against the ruling generals in a bid to choke off revenue and access to military equipment from key allies and suppliers such as Russia, a military spokesperson told Al Jazeera recently that previously reported attacks blamed on its forces have been misreported.